They're calling me Karen cause I make them nervous Oh fine, call me that, I'm Karen about good service I'd like to speak, speak, speak to the manager I'd like to speak, speak, speak to the manager Listen, we starting early today. We starting early because I got the headphones on. I don't have time, any time to waste. I got them. They kind of on the other wrong side. I don't like them on this side, but it don't matter because we got to get to this. I saw this thing. I had to do. We ain't had a Karen this week. I have to bring a Karen out. A Karen that's racist. A racist Karen. Everything that fits our show, this story represents. Everything. TikTok, social media, clout, racial slur from a Karen, Utah. She's from Utah. It's the only, only way it could be better if from Florida. The only way it could be better for Florida. This is the whole, what our whole channel's about. I had to do it. ABC 7 News, New York Post, everything about it. She has been arrested. We want to get into this story. We want to find out what is happening, what is going on with this racist Karen from Salt Lake City. Let's get into this video as quickly as possible. You know what I mean? Let's go through it. There's not a lot that doesn't have to be bleeped out. The city of Midvale is under fire tonight after a viral video accuses them of mishandling the situation. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 10. I'm Heidi Hatch. And I'm Jamie McGriff. The video lays out a number of residents' racist tirades towards a Midvale family. So it's not even just one woman. It's the whole neighborhood. Listen, I told y'all about Utah. I tell y'all, call Malone in Utah. Carl Malone is a strange man. Ain't many black people in Utah. I'm just saying, it's a strange place to be out there. So this whole area is being racist. I thought it was just a one Karen. No, this is, like I said, this is even, this is this story juicy. Let's get into it. Coverage for you tonight. Jake Taylor spoke with a civil rights attorney about when free speech crosses a legal red line. First, though, Ariel Harrison live tonight after sitting down with the mayor for the city's reaction on this. Ariel. Well, Heidi Jamie, the mayor said his phone began blowing up last night with tags and messages on social media regarding this viral video. He tells me he's heartbroken knowing that this family feels like they've been failed. I was disgusted. For the first time, Mayor Marcus Stevenson is going on camera to talk about this viral video that put Midvale City in a negative light. Let's go, let's go put this show. I'm a, I want to show this in the full glory. So light. On a f and this video is out there. It shows incredibly uh, disturbing acts that as a community, I want to make sure that, that we address. Stevenson says he started getting tagged in social media posts last night and what he saw surprised him. You being the mayor, were you aware that this was happening to the family? No, I, I found out. Listen, listen, I don't know how you shot, bro. You live in Utah. I'm sorry, y'all. Like y'all paint Utah in the band. Like, nah, it's a beautiful place, by the way. Utah is a great place, great land, all that stuff. A great land don't make great people. And they don't see a lot of black people, so I don't know how they react to it. And, and by the way, it just it's Utah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to prejudge. Like people prejudge Mississippi, and they should, because a lot of Mississippi shit happened, as we've seen. So that's fair. <laughs> it's fair. About when this video came out. And even though he says he only learned about this case yesterday, he says city teams have been working on it for some time. Between the police department and the city, we have put in over 100 hours um, into, again, finding a long term solution for this case. <laughs> Some of the charges are not, they're not at a high enough level to um, solve this long term. Given what's now played out online, I asked if he wishes he'd been alerted sooner. I do. Th this may be an area for us as a city to have conversations with our police department of, hey, if we're seeing a pattern somewhere, maybe at that point that would be elevated. But at this point, knowing where it's at, I just wanted to make sure that we can address this. Again, that's the problem with free speech is that you have the right to harass whoever you want, but the police can do a certain aspect of, if they feel like you're threatening somebody's life, you can intervene. If it feels like it's threatening, like if you just harass me every day and call me and just start spray painting my house and start invading my home, it can get to a certain point. But then again, it's really hard to get to that point because again, freedom of speech, they can't arrest you for what you say. And that's kind of the curse and the blessing of freedom of speech. I can call Joe Biden dark Brandon and make fun of him sleeping all day without getting arrested. I can call Trump bloated orange man who's an egotistical maniac and y'all believe in his snake oil system you see and he's the ultimate snake oil system and I won't get arrested. 
You see what I'm saying? I just offended both parties because I can't. And nothing's going to happen to me. I might get fired from my job if somebody really political, but I doubt I'm, I'm, but you see what I'm saying? Get amicably as quickly as we can. But the problem these cities will have, though, let's go quickly point out, is that being that racist, that open, company's not going to work right there. You'll lose your Walmart, you'll lose your mom and pop store, you'll lose a lot. People ain't going to want to send food there. You'll, you'll, they're probably the price of everything going to be extremely high. compared. You probably live in L.A. prices in a city that don't give L.A. pay. So it could ruin your neighborhood. Because if Walmart don't want to be there, Target don't want to be there, you have to, everybody had to make their own stores and then they had to get goods. And most companies ain't going to want to send you goods. So you have to like do your own and you have to survive. So you have to like charge a lot of extra money because you don't have the infrastructure to do it. It could ruin your entire city. All because some idiots want to be openly racist. Now, as part of our coverage tonight, I also reached out to Representative Andrew Stoddard, who represents this district. He was unavailable for an interview, but did share online on the X or formerly known as Twitter, saying as, quote, as a follow up, I have spoken multiple times with the city officials who have been coordinating with the police department as well as prosecutors to look at hate crime charges. Well, we have that full statement along with others posted with this story online on KUTV.com. Reporting live in Midvale, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News. Ariel, thank you. Earlier today, we received a statement from Unified Police saying in part, the Unified Police Department is investigating the incidents in Midvale involving a person identified by various media outlets as making harassing and racist statements to neighbors. This harassment is being investigated. In addition to law enforcement solutions, the UPD Midvale Precinct is working with other social service providers to bring a long-term solution for any individuals involved and the community. So that's the story, but let's get to the Kara. We saw a little bit of it in the video that went viral. They couldn't play anything. So her name is Karen Smith. 67 year old from utah let's go up here utah woman seen hurling racial slurs at interracial family pushing pregnant mom so this is how she got arrested remember i told you, you can't get arrested for that pushing pregnant mom charged with assault so let's go read on this crazy karen's case the utah woman accused of going nuts on a multi-month racist campaign against her biracial neighbor hurling racial slurs and assaulting a pregnant woman has been arrested as the victim hired a civil rights attorney against their torment. Unified Police Department of Greater Salt Lake issued a warrant for Catherine Smith arrested after several videos of her racist rants toward Midville couple surfaced online. Smith 67 was arrested Tuesday and charged with property damage, destruction, and assault to Mr. Main Salt Lake County arrest record show. See, this is how you get to, when they get When they get so racist, they start breaking up property and coming to your home. So this is in that na racist neighborhood where they're just driving around. She's not the only person, apparently, but they're driving around. But she's the one that went viral, of course, and she's the one that assaulted somebody. So that's what happened. I just saw that story way over there. That is insane, but we're going to ignore that for now. I <laughs> go back on this story. Catherine was taken into custody last night on her outstanding ward. Midville Mayor Marcus Stevens shared on it. I hope there's a positive step for healing for other targeted families. The affected neighborhood, Mrs. Smith, and our entire community. She was released on her recon recon reconnaissance, reconnaissance after paying her $1,000 bond. Bunt. Words. This her from the video we saw earlier. The family began recording Smith hateful campaign in May when a neighbor asked the couple for help installing a camera after they were having trouble with Smith. The now viral video posted on social media influence Tiff Tizzy ENT. We know Tizzy has been seen over 1.9 million times since it was first posted on December 11th. The influencer shares just some of the hundreds of videos the couple has of Smith allegedly harassing them and their nine-year-old son, including her repeatedly shouting slurs like the N-word and that piece of the derogatory term for Mexican living in the U.S. The family has decided to pursue legal action against Smith and hired civil rights attorney Tyler Ayers, who claims Smith has been harassing them since 2019. She had no reservation about using the N-word, Ayers told KUTV. She has no reservation about using them at children, not even in front of children, but directly at them. She expecting a baby any day now, and hopefully that child doesn't grow up to hearing these things because that's honestly the horror of it. What? 
Oh, I think she's talking about the way this is written. I, I swear, it's the, t- you thought she was talking about Catherine Smith. I'm like, this 60 year old, 70 year old is expecting a baby. One video showed the mother confronting Smith for allegedly threatening her nine years old with feeding him to her cat. During her confrontation, Smith became hostile, yelling at the woman's face and even forced to poking the pregnant woman in stone. She get that baby out, out of here. The angry mother had confronted Smith after the couple's son was threatened by the woman, telling her to get in the house inward. I'm going to feed you to Savannah to my Savannah cat. During her confrontation, Smith became hostile, yelling at the woman's face and even forcibly poking the woman in the stomach. As we suffer, my client child is scared. Of so my client is expecting a new baby and all of this extra stress, including. Yeah, I was right about it was. They just wrote it weirdly, including the violence that has met it out upon her when the woman poked her in the stomach. It's done nothing to help her pregnancy. As a matter of fact, it's pretty clear that it's hurting. Smith's most recent attack allegedly occurred Sunday when she shot I hear you have nappy headed baby. I hear I hear you have a nappy headed baby in there. You tell so. Hey, and Mississippi ain't this outrageous racist, right? They had to get mad to be this outrageous racist in Mississippi. Like the dude like the dude I know that's like racist, they had to be upset at you. Like you had to go to the club and something happened and they had to leave and then they'd just get on Twitter and just be a little they would just start getting a little racist. These people just going to your house randomly. Like, are you having a nappy headed baby? That is crazy. Prior to arrest, the unified police department said we believe that the behavior in this video is disgusting. To be clear, Midville Midvale City condemns this kind of our community takes great pride in our diversity. Racism has no place in Midvale. Y'all not diverse. I'm sorry, nowhere in Utah is diverse. When police arrested Smith on two warrants for assault and property damage, the woman still has two arrest warrants for speeding and failing to register an expired vehicle state register. Put her under the jail. Fix this city. This is insane. This is crazy racist. And we need to talk about Midvale. What y'all doing over there? I know they had this video about the most racist city in the country, but this woman said she gonna put y'all on the map with her racism. She's openly being sued. She's calling y'all names. That she just saying every term she can that's offensive to y'all. She called him an F word. She called him a W back. Did she call him the other words too? Did she just randomly slang it? And I don't know what race it is. Is it like a black and hispanic person because it don't matter what latino you is to the racist people you all misking it's insane to me you are all misking to super racist people it don't even matter but i wonder what race they is and all this and thankfully she got arrested she poking people in the stomach so we caught her you can't get her for language but you can get her for assault poking people in the stomach so we getting her out of here take her racist but home it is classic rules it is zell like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. We out. They're calling me Karen, cause I make them nervous. Oh, fine, call me that, I'm Karen, about good service. I'd like to speak, 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 to the manager. I'd like to speak, 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 to the manager.